placed in the top four of both the Colorado Pro and the New York Pro. It's from Tucson, Arizona, let's bring on David Henry. Now, David Henry, this is an interesting story. Um, we're not really sure where David Henry fits these days because David Henry, of course, built up all sorts of momentum starting back when he won that wild card to qualify for his first Mr. Olympia contest. He has yet to win an event on the circuit, but many of us thought that David Henry was only a few pounds away from being a real threat. But based on what's happened so far here in 2007, it doesn't seem like it's going down that way, Bob. No, he's uh, kind of fallen off the radar screen, as it will, since last year. Again, a guy who took runner-up in the Ironman to lead Priest. Many thought he could have even won that competition. Uh, to think that now he's come from that point to, to not making uh, the top half of the cut uh, is something. And, and again, it's much to, uh, you know, David's credit, you know, he's coming back. You know, he's trying different things. As I mentioned this morning, Dan, the one thing I don't think he needs to do is put on more size. Uh, I know earlier I said, you know, it's a big man sport, but at, at David's height and frame, you know, he's never going to be one of the biggest men on stage. So I think he needs to go back to what got him there, and that's going to be crisp conditioning. That's what got him there. That's what's going to get him back into that top five slot and at least give him the chance to get compared for that top five. The one thing you can't do is be small uh, and a little bit off. I'm going to say the same thing I said about Ahmad Haidar a couple weeks ago in Pasadena. I'll say the same thing about David Henry. I hope these guys don't get discouraged, and I hope they stick around. The sport needs physiques like David Henry's, Ahmad Haidar, um, Hidetada Yamagishi. These guys bring so much to the marketability of the sport, and I'm just hoping that a couple bad placings don't uh, force these guys to rethink what they're doing. Well, one good thing that's coming up, Dan, that you mentioned that is there is a whole crop of guys that are under 210 pounds that are very, very good bodybuilders, some of the best in the world. Uh, Ed and Betty Pariso have put together an under 210 class in the pro ranks this year uh, that's going to be at the Europa Pro Show later on in the summer. So that's going to be interesting. Now, that's a show that all these guys uh, can, can all get in. Uh, there's purses, uh, a purse involved in it so they can win some money, get recognized, pick up a title. But I tell you what, that, that list is long and deep with David Henry, Yamagishi, uh, Mark Dugdale, uh, Ronnie Rockle, so I mean that could really shape up to be a good show, but just maybe what these guys need and, and that might uh, start a trend. David Henry.